Hello and welcome back. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, Paint with Gloria. Now let's get started. Okay, as you can see, my colors on my palette are still moist. I put the cover on. And again, these are my water mixable oils. And today's another day. But I put the cover on with my little sponge in the back. It's still wet. So by keeping it covered and putting it in a Ziploc bag, uh, it stays in the refrigerator for days, if not weeks. And if it feels a little tacky when you first use it, that's no problem. Just use thinner for water mixable oils. And I did my close-up so that you can see the fruits that we're going to be working on. I don't have my brushes separated from the rest because I think these are the ones I might use today. So with that being said, we can get started. We're going to start with this one. So we're going to pick up some dark yellow. We're going. I'm going to shape this a little bit more because you can see it's, it's flat there, but I'm going to shape it up a little bit more so it can go a little rounder. This one here. Enjoy the birds singing. If you're using the water mixable oils and you want to send them out. I suggest you use the thinner. You can use water, but the water mixable oils are called water because it's more for cleaning your brushes with water, not to dilute your paint. It just makes a difference. I did the test, so it's better to dilute it with thinner instead of with water. It works better. Okay, I'm going to pick up a little bit of Brown at the bottom. And here as well. And some over here. Brush to the side. Blend it until you're happy with it. I'm going to use some burnt umber on this one back here because this one is really dark. It's all the way in the back. You can hardly see it. Okay, I'll come back and darken it some more because it's almost black but for now it can be stay that way here I'm gonna go ahead and put this in because this is black there's no light hitting it back here so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in
and here I'm using ivory black I'm going to just put some over here to start defining these little areas here continue to work on these bananas I see a little bit of green not much but I see a little bit of green on the banana not much it could just be the shadow from the mango could use a different brush to blend it in if your brush has too many if your brush has too many paint on it you can always use something else to blend it in oops see what happens make sure you wear your apron and you wear a blouse that you really don't care for because this is gonna happen and if you don't notice it, it'll dry up on you and it will not come out. Oh yeah, by the way, wanted to show you something else. Look at this. I'm going to be planting my own ajo. My garlic. Isn't that cool? Look at those beautiful roots. Look how big it's growing. It's been a week sitting by my window. Cool, huh? I make un jarabe. I think that's what you call it. It's a tea made of onions and garlics and cinnamon for good health, especially if you're catching a cold or don't feel well. I call it Ada's Harabe, Ada's tea, because she's the one who showed me what to do there. Darks here on this banana. It's got, and then here, it's pretty. It's not black, it's, it's almost like a brown. So I'm using burnt umber. And just go around, it's got a kind of specks. And here too on the edge, it's really, really ripe. And here at the bottom as well, this one has a lot of dark going on here. I'm going to go ahead and add the darkness over here. This little corner, there's no light hidden there. And I'm going to do this. There you go. And I'm going to take advantage of that dark that I just put there. And I'm going to be blending it right up here. Towers the papaya. more dark, believe it or not.
So that way you can tell it's a banana back there somewhere. I'm going to jump into this mango here. So with that one, I'm going to pick up some green, put this one down. And I'm going to pick up some green, and it's going to be a light green. But this one is not as ripe as this one. So we're going to start adding some green. A little tap of red here. my brush pick up some yellow jump over to where the we can say the green pepper or a pacha a passion fruit a green passion fruit since we're not sure, it could be whatever we want it to be, right? There you go. We're going to move down to the leaf, the papaya leaf. So I'm going to pick up some yellow here because that yellow is going to be mixed in somewhat with the green once we put in that green. So I'm going to do it here. I should actually be using a flatter brush instead of the filbert. And sometimes it doesn't matter how careful you are, you will get paint on yourself. Let's continue with the leaf. And again, you see what happens? Look, another spot. I was holding the brush with my mouth. I'm telling you, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of lighter green. We're going to start here. We can always darken it. We're going to start here. I'm just putting this in here and then I'm going to be moving it around. You don't have to do it in any order. Okay, so here, this is part of the leaf. Don't paint the brown because the brown is part of the table. Okay, so I'm putting it in there. I'm gonna go around this little circle that I sketched in there because that's part of the table. Now we're gonna make sure I don't paint it. Okay.
gonna come back and put some of that same brown in here. Okay. Let's jump onto the coconut. Not much, just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go back to a little bit of acrylic because the background on this table was acrylic so I'm going to go ahead and finish that off using acrylic and careful not to go into my oil. It might not match the color that I put in there before but it's a Hey guys, I'm just taking a minute here, a minute break just to show you my view in the mornings. Mira que lindo. And that's just four. I'm counting four. But sometimes I see up to 12, 16 sometimes. So that's rare, but usually 12. Mira que lindo, mira que belleza. I feel like I'm in the island. I feel like I'm in Puerto Rico. I miss it. I miss it so much. Mira que lindo. It's cloudy because it's going to be raining today. Mira que chulería. Mira que chulería. Isn't that beautiful? I'll show you another day where it's not overcast so you can have a clear picture of what I'm looking at. Okay guys, back to painting. Okay, we finally get to the bottle. And this is the part we've been waiting for. This is where the story begins. Our friend Toyo is a very is a very great artist in Añasco, Puerto Rico. He's very well known there in that area. And 
when we go to Puerto Rico, we always take time to go visit him because we have so much fun when we are over there with him and his family. And we have so much in common, especially because he is an artist. Um, we met in Orlando, Florida, when he was doing an exhibit, and we were at the same exhibit as he were. Um, so once we went to Puerto Rico and visited him, uh, we had known him for a couple years now when we made this visit in particular. And he has gotten to know my husband very well. Uh, and that day, my brother was also uh, visiting uh, him at the same house. And he had some pitorro available. And knowing my husband, Louis, he figured, well, if I give Louis a little pitorro, at least one shot, um, he'll make us all laugh and he'll laugh at our, at our corny jokes and we'll have a good old time so that he can leave, <laughs> so he can give Louis the first shot of pitorro. Okay, well, we get to the house and he's so excited and hey, Luisito, he calls him Luisito the artist. That's what he says, Luisito the artist. Anyway, so um, he said, here, I got something for you. Take this shot. Uh, it's Pitoro. My husband is hesitant. No, 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 I don't want that. Oh, come on, just take it. it ain't going to harm you. And my husband's like, no, 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 because he doesn't drink. <laughs> but anyway, he takes the shot. And Tojo is like, uh, okay, now we're going to have some, having some fun. And my brother's like, oh, wow, now we're going to have a good time. We're going to laugh. And Lewis is going to tell us some corny jokes. And we're going to have a good time. So anyway, so he's waiting. He's looking at Lewis after he takes the shot. And we're just waiting and waiting. And nothing's happening. And then... <laughs> Uh, we give Louis a couple of minutes. Okay, we'll give him a couple of seconds. Let it take its effect. So we we take a we leave the room and go do something else. And we say, okay, let's go check on him. Let's let's see if he has kicked in, so we can have a good old laugh. Well, we get back to the room where Louis is at, and guess what he did? He, he fell asleep. <laughs> he fell asleep. <laughs> so we were all disappointed. And the funniest part of this story is that Dojo said, Oh, what a waste of shot. <laughs> what a waste of Pitoro. I wasted it on him. <laughs> so that was funny enough in, in the story itself. So uh, my brother, Dojo... And uh, his family and Louis, we all had a good time just based on that. Anyway, but Louis woke up and didn't know what hit him. <laughs> Hope you enjoy that story. Okay, the the Pitoro bottle looks like it's got some burgundy in there. It could just be the lighting because I know the bottle is not burgundy. It's all like a brownish color. But with all the light surrounding, it reflects on the bottle. Um, here we go. Let's start here on the edge and work our way that way. And when you're painting, Try to stand up straight or sit up straight because without us realizing, we are bending our backs. Y esto puede jorar, y esto puede. Okay, something like that. Let me go. A little to the dark side on this side of the bottle. So we're gonna flip it and we're going to do here. It's a little darker here. Again, we shape in the bottle.
Here we go to the... I could be using a smaller brush for here, but it's okay. I can do this. There you go. Let me pick up a smaller brush so I can do the top. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's see a little darker here. Here we go. Oh, my get. A little bit more light over here, so let me put these brushes down and pick up a clean one. Here we go.
Okay guys, I'm calling this a finished painting. Let me pick it up so you can have a closer look. My Pitoro Baro and I hope you enjoyed our story. I think it was funny at the time and we talk about it. It's still funny to this day. Just smoothing it out, just smoothing it out, getting some of those lines out. Just smooth it out. And when you're painting, stand up straight. Because when we paint standing, it's a joroba cualquiera. I'm going to be dedicating this painting to my friend, artist Toyo. Okay, amigos, see you on our next adventure. God bless. Adios, amigos.